New details tonight in Conway where we're hearing from some of those closest to a teen killed this week in a motorcycle crash. Our Eric Richards joins us in the studio to tell us what they have to say and also explain why he was so special to them. Eric. Yeah, Eric and Rachel, in speaking with his former co-workers and his pastor this afternoon, we are getting a better sense of who Brody Gore was, described as a bright light who was a joy to be around. <laughs> so good. <laughs> co-workers at Jersey Mike's on Church Street in Conway are reflecting on the loss of 16-year-old Brody Gore, who died in a motorcycle crash Monday afternoon on Highway 501. Brody was loved by every member of this team. A team working a shift through tears and sadness at the thought that he would be here right now manning the grill. He wasn't just a team member, he was family to us all. Gore was on his way to work when he crashed into the side of a pickup truck trying to make a left turn onto the highway. He was dedicated to every aspect in his life. He worked hard to save his money for his bike and his truck. Now employees are collecting money in his name to donate to his family, who now have the difficult task of planning his home-going services at the Rock Church. And I remember baptizing Brody in the spring of 2015. A moment Pastor Josh Finkley says changed Gore's life forever. We just had a huge crowd out at the high school and you just see uh, a young boy and his dad um, just taking that step. And now the step no family wants to take, laying their child to rest. Then I reached out to mom and dad just as soon as I could and uh, just let them know how sorry we were and uh, how difficult it is because you just, you never, never want to see, never expect to see a child, a teenager lose their life. Finkley says Gore had his favorite spot to sit in church, a spot that will forever be his. Brody and his family came every Thursday night that we have. Uh, we kind of say the weekend starts on Thursday here, and so we have a Thursday night service. So I could walk you in right now to where they sit because I know exactly. And Brody Gore's loved ones will hold a public memorial at the Rock Church in Conway this Friday at 6, followed by a private funeral service in the coming days. The Gore family told me they appreciate the outpouring of love and support, the same love and support Brody had for everyone he knew. At the Alert Desk, Eric Richards, WMBF News.